Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This video is sponsored by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're interested in a career in the ever-growing firearms industry, arm yourself with an education. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online learning like armorer courses all the way up to an associate degree. Visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in and welcome to another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. Today I'm featuring my personal favorites. And let's start right here with the Tanfolio Defiant Stock Master. All steel frame, full size, double action, single action, 9mm handgun with a 4.75 inch barrel. Excellent grip texturing with the back strap, front strap, polymer grips, 17 round mags ambidextrous thumb safety a super sight is what tanfolio calls this adjustable all around does have lightning cuts in the slide a bull barrel fiber optic front sight the single action trigger pull is measuring right at four pounds with a nice reset right there i often said that this gun shoots itself and it really does 52 ounces loaded with 18 rounds, let's go ahead and take a few shots. Yeah, this thing is one sweetheart of a handgun. I love it, squared off trigger guard. It does have a rail, already mentioned the bull barrel. It is such a fine shooting handgun, I love it. I haven't owned it long, but I really do love the Tanfolio Defiant Stock Master imported by IFG Italian Firearms Group. The shotgun that I'm featuring is a Remington V3 Tactical. I love this shotgun because it has the VersaPort system. It cycles everything and it reduces recoil. The first load that I have in the chamber right now is a turkey load, Remington Nitro. It is very much a powerful load. I put that in the chamber, then I have a combination of target load, seven and a half shot, and high velocity. A couple things about this shotgun that I like. It does have an 18 and a half inch vent rib barrel, fixed cylinder choke, holds seven plus one, which is what I have in there, a big barrel clamp. It is drilled and tapped for a rail if you go that route, and oversized controls with the charger, the bolt release, the cross bolt safety, even the recoil pad is oversized. It's been an incredible shotgun. Has a flared out magwell, goes about 800 bucks. They are near impossible to find right now. Not exactly sure what's going on with Remington, but when they came out with the V3 Tactical, with that verse support system that controls the recoil so much, they came out with a winner. And I'd like to see these back in stock, but this is my favorite shotgun. The first one, once again, is a turkey load. Heavy recoil, and it wasn't too bad. These are high, high velocity seven and a half shots. And that's it. Then the oversized bolt release. The recoil pad certainly helps, and it is one fine shotgun that I've enjoyed since day one. Now let's get to that rifle. My favorite rifle is this Malat Vepper AK-308. This really increased in price over time because of what has happened with Russia and the Malat factory burnt down. So you don't see these too often. It really jumped up the value. It has a folding tubular stock. This lever right here, you push that down, it'll fold in. I've got an arsenal scope mount right there, a 20 and a half inch threaded barrel, chrome lined, RPK receiver, trunnions, barrel. It's first class all the way around. Uh, 10 round magazine it comes with. I have an aftermarket 20 round magazine in 308. And it is fine. Now the optic that I have here is a Nikon Black Force 1000. It's a great optic. Unfortunately, Nikon stopped producing rifle optics, so that's kind of a bummer. I'm just going to shoot into the berm here, and you can check out the Malat Vepper AK-308. It's 
same AK controls that is so standard. You can see that it does have that front post right there. But a awesome rifle all around. And a 308 in the AK format is a bit different. And I love this Malat Vepper. Thanks for watching another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. Some of you may be wondering, where is the Python? It's right here. I just used this in the expensive edition of this series, but I had to bring it out to show it off once again. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.